Today, we're discussing becoming a PvP god in Seven Days to Die. Now, we've got a lot of info to cover and no time to waste, so let's get to it. Ladies and gentlemen, what if I were to tell you that this simple little box can turn you into a PvP god? Okay. So PvP God may be a little bit hyperbolic, but this little simple magic box will provide you a 360 degree field of view as well as a 360 degree field of fire. You will be able to see and attack any enemy in the area, whether that be another player or one of them zombie jerks. You can hit them, but they cannot hit you back. All thanks to this simple yet magical box. Allow me to to demonstrate. After crafting this magical PvP god making box, I decided to invite a couple members of Savin's Court to the Savin's World Testing Grounds in order to help me show off this little magic box. Riot is all decked out in some pretty high level gear, and I told him to come find me and shoot me in the face if he could. Once Riot gets on site, this is what he sees. Just a simple little metal box, completely unassuming, and I am nowhere in sight. So Riot proceeds to approach the box, takes a closer look, takes a couple swings, shoots at the box. So far, nothing seems too out of the ordinary. It just looks like a plain, simple little box. Once again, this is what Riot sees. This is what I see. I have a complete 360 degree field of view of my area. And not only that, I also have a 360 degree field of Fire. So even though I am completely surrounded by steel blocks, I still have the ability to kill anything in the area. And sadly, that includes Riot. Oh. Yeah. So now we bring in another volunteer. My good friend Schneidy decides, all right, let me give it a go. Same scenario, Schneidy has a very decent loadout, some pretty high level gear. He knows pretty much where I am and he gets to work. He circles the box, constantly peppering it with shots. However, he is unable to deal even a single point of damage to me. Once again, this is what Schneidy sees and this is what I see. As Schneidy is circling the box, constantly peppering me with shots, I am perfectly safe and sound inside my magic box. I have a perfect 360 degree field of view all the way around. And even though I'm completely surrounded by steel, I can magically fire through that steel, attacking anything and everything that may be in the area. Unfortunately, Schneidy does not stand a chance. Jesus. Okay, all right. So how exactly does this work? Well, the design of the magic box is very, very simple. All you have to do is build a basic two block high doorway like structure. So we'll place down a few blocks here, go up two blocks, making a two block high doorway, cover that doorway like structure with another layer of steel blocks, place down a hatch like so. We'll go inside the doorway, stand on the hinge side of the hatch, look straight down while opening the hatch, and presto, your character is glitched into the block above. This gives you a perfect 360 degree field of view as well as a 360 degree field of fire. And with just a few tweaks, the magic box was born. I simply built an underground base, placed the magic box right at the surface, created a simple ladder system to access the magic box, and now I can laugh maniacally as I take out any and all unsuspecting players that happen my way, effectively turning me into a PvP god. Now this setup took me no time whatsoever to envision and build, and I'm sure I've only scratched the surface of the potentiality of this bug. And I would say, let your imaginations go wild. I would love to see what you all come up with. So if you haven't yet, make sure and join the Discord server to post your photos and video links showing off your handiwork. You'll find the invite link to the Discord server in the description of this video below. I gotta be honest folks, it absolutely blows my mind how creative you all can be. And I would love to see what you come up with with this 
this little gem. And if you'd like to check out some more of my 7 Days to Die Alpha 20 videos, I've created a very special playlist that you can access by clicking the box in the top right corner of the screen. But for now, this is Savin saying thank you ladies and gentlemen, and we'll catch you in the next one.